What is the fastest way you've lost a friend? One day I just decided to stop being the first one to text. That was the end because she never made the effort. Went on a double date and she was super rude to the guy I set her up with. He was a friend of mine too. She was so rude I told her the next day that I was disgusted by her behavior and I didn't want to be friends with someone who treats others so badly. We never hung out again. Two friends got into a fight and stopped talking to each other. I made them realize their mistakes and brought them together. Then they unfriended me. Yay. Good deeds to reap benefits. By asking why she only calls me when she needs a favor. Hey girl. Rather than live in the dorms our freshman year of college we decided to share an apartment across the street from our department's building on campus. It was the worst. And killed off our years long bestie friendship. Heroin. Not just one friend. Multiple of my closest friends. If you play with fire. You will get burned. I miss them dearly and I try to live a better life every day for them. Told her that her boyfriend was cheating on her and I saw it with my own eyes. She said I was a jealous liar and a bad friend. Weeks later he dumps her because he was cheating on her. She still never spoke to me again. Literally went from really close friends to never speaking or seeing each other ever again in a single conversation. Edit. I'm not remotely sad or disappointed by it. Even when it was happen I was more flabbergasted than whatever. This was more than 10 years ago. We were young I learned that you should always tell them and if they get mad at you then they weren't a good friend anyways. Hopefully she learned an important lesson too. His family was in dire financial straits straits. I loaned him over 10k dollars. A couple of years later. He asks me about this car he really wants to buy and I suggested that maybe he might consider paying me back before spending on classic collectible cars. He went off on a rant and said that his wife, since the dire strait. They got divorced, stole the money from me and he was innocent and all sorts of shti. That was the last I ever heard of him. Shame. We were as close as brothers for a very long time. His ex-wife is still a good friend though. Edit. I actually know the difference between straights and straights. Despite that. I goofed. Thanks for pointing it out. Loaned the money. Judge Judy is correct. It's the fastest way to lose a friend. My friend never liked my girlfriend. A wife. And I never really knew why. He was a good friend but I really liked this girl and he was starting to distance himself from me it seemed. One day me and him were hanging out and he was bitching about how he didn't think my girlfriend was a good fit for me. I really liked her and I kept pushing him to tell me what's up until he finally said to me what if you're the last one in your family to have kids? Your bloodline will no longer be white. I laughed and thought he was joking. He was serious. I had an online friend who I'd spoken with on the phone on numerous occasions. She always said she felt like she had known me for years. But then I told her I didn't like Nancy Grace. I thought Nancy Grace had made a living feeding off of the corpses of murdered children. Never spoke to me again. Saw him the night before. Next day he hung himself. Thought they were a pretty fun person upon our first set of interactions. Then. The second time around. They started things off with. Well now that we're acquainted. You should know that I consider myself a renaissance man. Proceeded to give an R I am very much spiel about his various accomplishments and enlightened interests that absolutely killed any potential friendship. Open up to him about my struggles with depression. Following day he messaged me saying he couldn't have that much negativity in his life and couldn't continue being a friend. I honestly have no idea. I bought a plane ticket to fly to see her. And help her move our home state. I didn't want her to have to drive 18 plus hours by herself. I spent 3 days hanging out in the city she lived in. We had a great time. We had dinner with her family the last night there. And she suddenly got weird. She shut me out completely. She didn't speak to me for the entire drive home. 18 hours in a car. In silence. 
She hasn't spoken to me since. I have no idea what I did. It's been almost 10 years and it still bums me out. She was my best friend too. I took her piece of candy when we were desk mates in second grade. The teacher had to move us because she would talk to me ever again. Went the whole grade without her ever saying a peep to me. Damn piece of candy. Well. Friend. In early middle school I knew a guy who would beat up the people who picked on me. That was his job. Not theirs. He was a grade AFker. And I didn't have enough experience with people to realize it at the time. One day he got bored of our friendship mid recess and refused to acknowledge I was talking to him. He spent the next half hour asking his other friends if they hear something. Since all he hears is a worm. Him being one of my only friends. It was pretty crushing at the time. Looking back. Crying about it and begging him to fking notice me was a shitty way to deal with the situation and fed right into his superiority complex. To a drunk driver. FCK that guy. Found out he was cheating on his wife of less than 2 years because they had grown distant after she had a baby. Who knew having a third life dropped into your life would cause things to change. I know both him and his side piece. They're both dead to me. I spent 3 years caring for and supporting her unconditionally. Through good times and bad. When she was near bedridden with depression over her stagnant life and health problems. I encouraged her to go back to school. Well she went back to school. And she made new friends. She then said we don't connect anymore and moved out. It was less than halfway through the first semester. And she blamed it on my grief over a death in the family. She broke up with her boyfriend. He was also part of the friend group for a few years. A week later she tried to force him out of the friend group by kicking him from all group messaging platforms because she was the one that introduced him to us in the first place. We refused to let her. She said I, the gay friend, only wanted him because I want to bang him. He came out as be a few weeks before. Then she left and blocked us all from everything. Moving. Had developed some very close friendships at my previous job. When I left and moved 150 miles away the friendships just vanished despite my attempts to stay in touch. Was pretty much ghosted. Did not even receive a message of condolence after my wonderful dad died in January and I know they were told by a mutual friend of his passing. I learned from my first job at 16 that co-worker friends are friends of convenience just like most school friends. Once that daily meetings place ends. So do most of the friendships. Being myself. My cat died and I was devastated. Ex-friend saw me crying and went it's just an animal. Whatever. Pepe was just an animal. But it was that friend who was a massive bitch. Never spoke to her again. One time a friend got mad at me for spending time with another friend who they didn't like. Instead of talking to me about it they just wrote a passive aggressive. Patronizing. And overly dramatic journal about how I betrayed them on Deviantit. I just blocked them and never spoke to them again lol. Dodge a bullet to be honest. Had this friend I was super close with for about 7 years. I'm trying to get my life together and he fell into the world of drugs and was trying his best to drag me with him. I tried to keep him clean and help him out but I could only handle so much of him. He started being late all the time. He was high no matter what. And there were times where he would make up obvious excuses to just not hang out. Even when we did hang out anyways he would try to pressure me to hang out with his drug dealer and try stuff with him. I haven't spoken to my best friend at all in 3 months now. I wish I could have done more to stop this from happening but I'm glad at the same time because I could have easily fell into the same hole as him. She ended her life. Almost 10 years ago. Still thinking of you. Elizabeth. Found my friend spitting in other people's food. I had this girl over at my place and we were watching a show. I was having period cramps and got myself a hot water bottle. Which she then took from me because her hands were cold. She refused to give it back. Saying that I'll be in pain with or without it. But if her hands get too cold. Her skin will crack. 
he stole my holographic Kazajin UGR card and didn't admit it. They were incredibly rude to wait staff when we went out together. I was a waitress for years. I have no tolerance for that BS. I got engaged before she did. Really? He started sharplifting regularly and wanted me to promise I wouldn't tell. I didn't tell. But advised him to seek help, which he refused to do. High school graduation. Afterwards we slowly stopped communicating. And it eventually stopped. She tried to convert me. I was already a ref king Christian. Just not her sort. I went to her church one Sunday when I was visiting. Because it was a new and big part of her life and I was trying to keep an open mind. But she set me up afterwards for an ambush by four of her friends. Who hammered me with proof texts to show me what a pathetic excuse for a Christian I was. And she just sat there and let it happen. Even when I was close to tears. I kind of ghosted her after that. Which I'm a bit ashamed of. But I couldn't face another such encounter. I never saw her again. Telling my buddy to call me when he was sober. Been 15 years. Guessing he's still drunk. Hey. I'm doing this mentorship thing. You should come and check it out. So I go. To support her since she's having a hard go at things. Only to find out it's a presentation to an MLM. Once I dropped her home. We never spoke again. I forgot to lock my door when I'm sturbating and he walked in. What a jerk. Username most definitely checks out. She was jealous of my boyfriend. Told me to break up with him or our friendship was over. He got hooked on Suboxone and ghosted me on my wedding day. Having someone telling a viscous lie about me. What's the difference between a viscous lie and a fluid lie? When he threatened to kill and bury me because I fooled around with a girl he pretended to have a relationship with. Got hit by some laced weed once. Ended up puking in my friend's flower garden for like an hour. Never saw the guy again despite being friends for years. By telling my mom about a fight that happened when we were all together. Apparently my mom isn't allowed to know about what happens when she's out of town. Friend has BPD and decided to drop me in a really rude way immediately after I helped them immensely with a huge coding project. Effectively preventing them from failing. Having someone close to you with BPD can be very challenging. I have an immediate family member with it. As someone with BPD. He can't just use that as an excuse. Just sounds like an ungrateful asshole to me. I was an asshole when I came home from college and was hanging out a friend from high school that had a girlfriend I didn't like. I felt she was bossy and he was just whipped. We were out drinking and he took a call from her. Came back to the table and said she wanted him to leave. I was an asshole and said something like when she says jump. Do you even ask how high? He bailed. Left me there, was my ride, and he was totally right to do so. I was a dick. And he wouldn't take my calls after that. I did try to apologize by voicemail. But never spoke to him again. Friend asked for help moving. He lived two hours away. Moving an hour from there. Was lead to believe it was a one day affair. Showed up in the morning and no packing had began at all. Didn't even have the U-Haul yet. Didn't have boxes. I was still hoping to get this done in a day but around 7pm it became apparent it wasn't gonna happen. Dude didn't even have any food or drinks or even a bed. Ended up buying beer and hamburgers and cooking for everyone. Tried to make the best of it and slept in my car. Moved next morning and haven't really spoken since. He did apologize later and said how shtty was and I would still consider him a friend. I guess. But we haven't hung out since. Had a very close group of friends. In this group includes a guy and a girl. Let's call them Brian, who was my best friend for years, and Jessica. Jessica has a younger sister. Brian has tried to make moves on her, the sister, in the past. Jessica has asked him to stop. A couple years ago. Jessica killed herself. The day after she died. Brian was texting her sister. At the viewing. 
I caught him trying to chat her up. Haven't spoken to him since. Death. By reporting someone for intimate partner violence to my school's public safety. Lost all my friends at once. Literally everyone took his side. You did the right thing. WTF is wrong with your friends. Been friends with the guy since middle school. Always had a huge ego on him but. I approached him a few years ago if he wanted to get an apartment to rent he said sure. A few weeks go by and he made a Facebook post I got accepted to a college in South Dakota. Dude never told me of his plans. Turns out he was also asking other people for a place to live while he said he wanted to get a place with me. There had been other events leading up to this but that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Semicolon. Friend got a cat. Then got it deck lord. I told her how cruel that was and how dangerous if it got out. Oh suck it up. It's just your first breakup. My little brother died. A close friend of mine skipped his wake to go out drinking with some other friends. Semicolon. I was suicidal. She wanted to talk about her new BF when I reached out to her. I dated her for nearly two years. And I cheated on her. She was my best friend. Moral of the story. Cheating is never worth it.